there is a perception that the Celtics, uh, for all of its uh, pro progressive measures, and having at 1.5 blacks on the court, uh, the first black ever, Duquesne's uh, Chuck Cooper, is still a white man's franchise. Spike Lee, the filmmaker, talked about it. And I asked him, Red, about Larry Bird and the white perception, the perception to say very white-oriented team and franchise in a very white-oriented city. Here's what Spike Lee said. He's a great ball player. I just feel that he, uh, him and the Celtics, to me, they represent a lot of times white supremacy. There's no mistake that the Celtics are, have always been, recently, the whitest team no doubt. in the league. Historically, and, and, it's, it's chronicled, and, and, yeah. and our back, you know, that's, you know, that's what they want. I, you know, I, several times I go up to Boston Garden, and it's like being in Birmingham or Selma during the 1950s. I mean... The hair on my neck standing in, and, and the only black people there, the, the kids selling popcorn, uh -huh. beer, or the, or the players' wives or girlfriends. Now, he may have overstated it a great deal, but let me talk... You, you're not kidding. <laughs> he, better, he, does, he does what he does good, he better stick to it. Let me talk about perception, though. This is not my quotes. These are direct... Paul Silas, one of your favorite players. The Celtics haven't been aware enough in community relations in the black community. Dave Cowens, you not only have racial barriers in Boston, you have ethnic barriers. Everybody is uh, separated too much. Patrick Ewing grew up in Cambridge, became a 76ers fan. Would you agree that the Celtics needed to do, maybe need to do, a better job in terms of getting themselves involved in the inner city? I think that's totally overstated. Uh, we had a policy of playing whoever it took to win, regardless of their religion or their color or whatever. Walter Brown started it, I finished it, I'm still with it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I got the award at the Jackie Robinson dinner, and Jesse Jackson gave me the award. And I told him, what, what kind of year do I get the award? I got eight white players. <laughs> I, I, said, I said, but I, I want you to know, you know how I feel. And he, he said, sure, he understands. One year you got eight white players, next year you got four, next year you got three. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah. We're out of time in this segment. We'll come back with some more with Red after this. Hello, everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.